So we say rock star and you, we put Justin in there. And they like they just say Bieber, right? Or oh, I don't know about Bieber. Timberlake. Uh, but you are a rock star. I can, I can see it here. Oh, for sure. Stuff happens out there. Yeah, that's that's the greatest part of it, you know? Not being injured or getting hurt, but how many people go to their jobs every day and have no excitement? You know, uh, when people tell me sometimes how crazy when they spin, you guys are crazy, I don't believe that. I think, you know what's crazy? Spending your life going to a cubicle from nine to five every day and not enjoying life. So, you know, while or not, man, you can break a bone, but you can't break my spirit. So I ain't worried about nothing. Wow, that was that was good. I, I just got to say that uh, you're, you're very funny out there, um, and I've seen you several times. You've been clown of the year how many times? Uh, ten times. Ten times. Ten times. At, at one point, you were seven in a row. So at what? I got to ten in a row, and that's great. But ten you know, in a row. It, it doesn't bother me. I, I'm friends with so many guys, <laughs> JJ Harrison and Cody Sosby and Robbie Hodges. So many people deserve that. That. I'm, I'm glad that it's kind of floating around. I've, I've been happy to, to get it, but you know what? It's also good to see your friends do good. What does it take in your mind to be a great, a great running clown? Man, you gotta you gotta adjust to different crowds, work with production. Uh, you gotta know where you're at. The same jokes that work in Central Kansas won't work on the West Coast, you know, and vice versa. So, you know, you gotta know your crowd. But most of all, you have to have fun because if they see you having fun. They're going to have fun. Having fun's contagious. People want to have a good time. So the more fun a clown can have, the more fun it's going to go up the stand. So, you know, life, life's, life's tough sometimes. So, you know, I always tell everybody, man, come to the rodeo. Take two hours off worrying about anything. Have a little good time. Smile for a while. We'll get to the problems later. You were in the midst of this dialogue with your announcer. You guys have got to be almost lockstep for the joke stuff. Oh, yeah. To, to, I, to, to nail them and all. All right. So the deal is you're talking about how your eyes have got a lock with the bull. That was that was what we were talking about. Yeah. Then it all went down from there. But you know what? It happens. So. Okay. So uh, you said if I just showed that confidence. Yeah. It turns out it's funny how that kind of bit me in the rear out of nowhere. But... Yeah. So, what happened? The, the, the bull kind of brushed well, up against the wall? Or? I went to jump up the fence and I slipped. And uh, normally the bullfighters are always right with me. The bullfighters weren't paying attention. Oh, great. And uh, so I got hit like four times before anybody came to save me. So, kind of got in a bad jam there for a minute because I was all alone. But it's right there with your theory of getting your uniform dirty and just mixing it up. Yeah, but you know what? At the end of the day, it's not a big deal. Bone seal. Oh, well, and so, uh, ankle? Was it a... Uh, no, it broke my foot. Broke your foot? Yeah. In, in how many places? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I'm going to be in this walking mood for a month, but after that, I'm, I'm ready to go again. So. You, you almost wanted to go back in there anyway. Yeah, I wanted to go tonight, but they said no, so I'm cool with that, and I'm going to wait. So you're doing color commentary, right? Yeah, I've, I've done a lot of different things in rodeo, and so I'm a big rodeo fan. I'm not just a clown. I'm a fan of the fan of the game, fan of the cowboys. I love the horses and bulls, uh, so I've been very blessed with that in my life, and so it's kind of natural fit being a talker and a, a guy that knows uh, a lot about what's going on so they let me do this and this this is one of my favorite events in here in casper so i'm still here can't get rid of me one little uh, bull we, can't get rid of we me we love having you here you are terrific you are quintessential no wonder you got it 10 times in a row we're sorry that you got hurt here but we love having you in casper uh, thank well, you I love to be here, and if that takes a broken foot to be in Casper, that's the price I'll pay. All right, God willing, we look forward to having you all back here again. Next year. Oh, yeah. What all a right. Visit.